Warren Montoya, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Now, you started a company called Resonate in 2013 to showcase native artists. What unique needs did you hope to address with your company? Well, I think there's a large emphasis on the traditional arts, but as far as like a unified effort for the contemporary arts, um, you know, there's, there's not anything really visible out there that really, that focuses on pushing like the current styles and current artists out there, you know, like there's a lot of indigenous and native um, folks who are doing some incredible works and like uh, people call it graffiti or street art, but really it's super artistic. It's, it's another, uh, the next level in my eyes, so yeah. And you also, you've worked with some jewelry makers and people doing all kinds of different art forms. What's exciting to you right now about the contemporary scene here in Albuquerque for Native artists? Well, I, th I think it's just like, it's still fresh. It's still, we don't know what it is exactly. So there's a lot of saying like, hey, let's try this, let's try this. And um, I think all around Albuquerque is just growing uh, creatively. You know, there's a lot of initiatives, you know, for tech and and the arts and creative startups, but I think it's it's new, it's fresh. So um, currently, I think um, there's a lot of artists who are starting to work together and just really inspire one another. Um, of course, one of the champions is Nani Chacon. She's a Dene and Latina, and yeah, she has pieces, murals all over the city, and you know she's getting recognized worldwide now. So it's pretty awesome. I love her work. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty great. Um, you started out selling products, being at the rail yards market, selling some stuff online, but I understand you're making a bit of a pivot now as well. What, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So we changed our focus from selling products to actually coordinating events and public arts projects. So the public arts projects can be anything from murals to creative landscaping to just um, working with the local architect to make whatever the project they're working on more interesting. So. We've just stepped into that in July, and it's taken off, actually. So there's a lot of people who are interested in just getting more art around the city and the state. Now, what was behind that decision? Um, there was multiple things, including how, how time-consuming selling products is. Um, it was also uh, an assessment of how I, was, how I was leading a life as an entrepreneur. So the reason I started my company was to really um, affect change aesthetically and environmentally for, you know, the city of Albuquerque as well as New Mexico. So I wasn't really getting to be in the mix of the creating and just being with, with the community, right? So I, I had to figure out a way of like bringing it back. You know, most of my time was just going through inventory or dealing with sales and finding other opportunities to sell. And it was a lot. So, and it wasn't really what I wanted to do. So. And larger scale projects sound like they would expose even more people to the work of native artists. Right, exactly. And, and that's the point of what Resonate is. So the idea of Resonate, you know, um, maybe a sound moving outward and then just moving through people and people connecting with it, you know. so. This is more about ideas, right? Ideas moving outward and connecting with people, uh, lo the larger public nationally or even worldwide. So, I mean, that's, that's what I want to do, create exposure for Native artists. And where have you turned to for guidance or training or information mm. to handle the business side of things? Well, you know, there's so many opportunities out there for Natives and entrepreneurs alike. So. Um, just explored a lot of opportunities, kind of jumped into, you know, applying for whatever I could. And some of the opportunities that came up were a program with the New Mexico Community Capital, which is the Native Entrepreneurship in Residence program. I'm still connected with them. I, I believe in their program wholeheartedly. You know, they've expanded how many people they're working with really rapidly over the last year. Um, so there, it's, it's like an incubator program. And then there was another program I uh, did last year, the end of last year, called the Creative Startups, which was by the Global Center for Cultural Entrepreneurship. And that's out of Santa Fe. So they bring a lot of entrepreneurs actually worldwide from different countries to Albuquerque. 
to explore and you know to learn about what it means to be an entrepreneur so I think those are vital learning opportunities and then of course like just just talking to people building your network building my network has been just the biggest thing I could have done right so just being able to also connect other people and then finding ways to work with people maybe even not necessarily um, focused on the arts but just community even yeah does helpful. your funding come from the city and from groups associated with the city most of our funding is private uh, through sales and just through private commissions but we're looking forward to you know building a project with the city pretty soon so we're, we're developing that right now so are you hopeful about entrepreneurship and creative entrepreneurship in Albuquerque I actually really am um, there's so many opportunities for the state I think and and bringing ideas to you know the the playmakers or, or the people of our city who can make you know bring in the resources to help these projects I think um, that's what I'm working towards and to say it plainly, you know, there's so much we can do for the city, for this state, and it's going to take all types of people to really, you know, grow our economy. Mm. So, yeah. What are some lessons you've learned that you'd like to pass on? Oh, man. Hmm. Do you have another hour? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, there has been so many uh, lessons within the past couple years. Um, you know, Resonate is three years old. I first got into this having no clue what I was getting into. The first year um, after, I was like, wow, I don't know if I would have started this if I really knew what I know now. And now, I really feel like just thankful that I did start it, um, even though there's been challenges, you know, of course, financial challenges. And I think that's the thing that people don't realize about entrepreneurs. You know, entrepreneurs are kind of glamorized in some sense. Um, but there's a lot of hardship, you know. There, if it takes a lot to stick with a dream and stick with trying to achieve something that you're not sure is going to work, um, but you have a hope and a belief that it's something that can benefit you and society. So, um, one of the biggest lessons was uh, getting a, a CPA or some kind of accountant right away. Like that was one I was really excited about. Um, because before, beforehand, I was just like, I have no idea how to keep track of this, you know, and it was just really exciting when I could find somebody, you know, able, so. Would you like to see more uh, young entrepreneurs uh, get started on, on a business? Yeah, I, I am super um, excited about any ideas people come, with, come to me or just talk about like, hey, you know what would be uh, something cool if we made this or, you know, what somebody should make. There's, that's always a comment, right? somebody should make right um and and my response to that is usually well why can't you right and i think a lot of times people don't realize their capabilities that it really is just a learning right um if you want to do something you have to learn about it first so um, i try my hardest to encourage uh, entrepreneurs as well as youth to explore those options so and then also refer um, entrepreneurs and other business owners to other networks and organizations that have been helpful to me so well Warren we so appreciate having a chance to speak with you today and best of luck in your future endeavors thank you so much it was it was great <laughs>